Good morning. Happy Sunday. Every day we live in gratitude. We try to have an attitude of gratitude of appreciation. Welcome back to another tea time. We'll see who hops on. Overcoming setbacks. That's our topic for today. Good morning. Good morning. Send you a wave. Hope you're doing well. We are talking about overcoming setbacks. When you guys hop on, let me know what you're drinking this morning. I have my tea, of course. What are you drinking? I'll tell you all what we have in just a minute. Ooh. I just finished brewing my tea. Um, today we have uh, Immunity, Relax and Chill from Country Kim. Um, she is out of the Middle Georgia area. And I will tell you guys about the tea. I, like to, I had to look on the website what's in the tea. It has lavender, chamomile, hibiscus flower, which gives it that purple color. You guys can't see that, but it's a little bit purple. Uh, marshmallow root, passion flower, uh, mullein, and skull cap. Good morning, good morning. Send you a wave. Hope you're doing well. Let us know what you're drinking this morning. I have Relax and Chill Herbal Tea from Country Cam out of the Middle Georgia area. I'll tell you guys what it says, okay? It says one tablespoon of tea, uh, so that's loose leaf tea, to eight ounces of hot water. Cover and steep for 20 minutes, strain and enjoy. Um, this is my little tea brewer here. I just set it in my water. And I don't usually brew my tea for 20 minutes. I think about five minutes for me. So yeah, let me know what you're drinking. We'll hop into it. Uh, so, so today we're talking about overcoming setbacks and it is the last Sunday in March. It is the last Sunday in the first quarter of the year. So this topic, um, it arose uh, from um, a social media buddy earlier this week. We were talking about wellness and doing a wellness check-in and she asked, um, <clears throat> You know, could we talk about setbacks? Because she has some setbacks. So we'll talk about that. Are you having tea? Are you having hot tea or, or cold tea? Mm, man, that is hot. Good morning. Good morning. Send you a wave. Happy Sunday. So as I was saying, overcoming setbacks. Earlier this week, uh, a friend from California, social media follower, um, we met here on the internet. She went to a topic on uh, overcoming setbacks. So here we are. Here we are. Kathleen, I hope you're having a good day. My tea is hot as well. It's a good way to just cleanse the throat, the palate, the GI system as we start our day. Kathleen, let us know what you're drinking. Okay, so setbacks. Uh, I feel like today, this last Sunday in March, was uh, the perfect day to talk about overcoming setbacks. Because think about it, the first of the year, we went through all of 2020 for the most part um, with COVID-19, seeing um, so many people lose their lives, people lost their jobs, their income, you know, kids homeschooling who've never homeschooled before, parents managing a homeschool environment, work from home environment, plus trying to have some just balance in themselves. So last year was crazy. And 2021 rolled in and everybody has their New Year's resolutions or uh, what their plans are for 2021 and how we are leaving 2020 in the past. We've gone through it. Here we are. Some people, uh, whether it was a resolution, a decision to plan to live intentionally, um, wanted to, let's say, um, Usually one, one national New Year's resolution is getting healthy, losing weight, etc. So first quarter of the year, we have to reflect. How did we do with our goals? Oh, cold brew, Kathleen. You're drinking cold brew. That's coffee, right? I, that's chilled coffee. I, I don't drink coffee. When I was on night shift, every blue moon I would work a night shift, I would try to drink coffee. It was not a jam. I'm a tea kind of girl. So, so we're, at the, we're at the end of the first quarter and we're looking back. How did we, um, how, did, how did your goals go? Your resolutions, your plan to live intentionally. I personally don't like to say 
resolution resolve like you know i gotta do this so me i like to live intentional what do you have a word for the year something that's going to guide you to stay focused on whatever your desire your plan is um so me my plan was to live intentional and i have been putting in the work to do that so in overcoming setbacks we look back over this first quarter these first three months and we ask ourselves um, what work did we do all right we had this plan whatever it was for you and what work did we um, allocate what time did we allocate towards working on that intentional living that resolution whatever you decided to call it so we look back okay what did we do i'm sure at least one day out of the 90 days there was something that you actually did some action some work that you put in to work on those goals right so something happened life happened that's reality but what we don't do is we don't give up we don't get discouraged or actually let me take that back you might get discouraged but you don't give up you look back and you say how can i make some changes what do i need to do in order to live intentional to get more rest okay for me living intentionally meant to be more present with my family to um, be present and mindful with my time with where i allocate and put my energy so what what goals did you have how did things go for you over this first quarter did uh, kathleen i'm not sure i'm not sure who's still on we'll see let me know what, what was what was your goal what did you um maybe you didn't have a goal okay so it was acknowledge that is and then look to what you wanted to take action that direction yes look acknowledge it look to it take action that direction that's what you do oh be at peace yes sister mm. peace we need more peace mind body is spiritual right peace inside and out i'm all about protecting your peace if it's not adding to it is taking away and it's not worth it your your health peace is part of your health if it's, if it's taken away it is not worth it okay so what can we do we look at what our goal was what action steps or work did we put in towards that goal that desire what roadblocks what stumbling blocks came along okay so what happened in these 90 days that maybe affected your ability to be at peace or my my ability to live with intention or um, um, Diane's ability to continue her wellness journey. OK, there are so many, any, many factors that come into play here. So we'll touch on uh, wellness for a moment, because I think um, Diane's in California. She's it's like 6 a.m. there, so she'll catch the replay. And I wanted to definitely touch on um, on her specifically. So they, they, when you check this out, you know, receive it. Kathleen or whomever else um, watches, it may be helpful for you too. And we'll expound upon that. Um, so wellness, what was your goal? Was it, we're gonna just something general. Uh, you wanted to lose 10 pounds. What's the plan? Okay, nutrition, exercise, increase water intake, move your body more, right? That's the basic foundation of weight loss. But in addition to that, there are, other, there are other components, right? Your actual medical history, all right? Do you have any um, endocrine issues, your thyroid, your adrenals? Those things affect one's ability to lose or gain weight. So if you are exercising, eating appropriately, not to the point of starvation, you have to have a, a calorie deficit. That's what research shows. To lose weight, you have to have a calorie deficit. Okay, we all know that. However, if you are starving yourself and you're working out all the time, guess what? There's going to come a, a point where, number one, that's just not healthy anyway, but there's going to come a point where you're going to reach a plateau and your body is going to hold on to all of the nutrients because you're starving yourself. Okay? So we don't want to starve ourselves. We want to eat healthily, balanced. If, you're, if you eat meat, meat, fruits, vegetables, healthy starches. Okay? Consuming our water, getting enough rest. Those things translate. If, it, if, you, if you were doing all those things and life happened, because guess what? 
You're a real person. I'm a real person. It is what it is. Hey, today is day one. We start fresh. We start renewed. I say we because guess what? I'm living with intention too, right? We have to, to begin again. What's your plan for the we? Are you, um, oh, let's see. Kathleen wrote, um, exercise is missing. Got to put that back in. Uh, it felt good to um, exercise regularly and you never thought you could enjoy it. Guess what? It worked out, right? You started with five minutes, right, friend? And look at you now. You gotta get, you're going to get back on it, though. You let life get in the way and today you're going to make sure you get back to it. I love it. Living with intention. Start with that five minutes, Kathleen. Remember you were telling me five minutes, then maybe 10, 15, and see what goes from there. And with our exercise program, if you're one who will say one person likes to um, run, people are runners, that's what their mode of exercise is. However, if they're wanting to um, gain weight or lose weight and they're kind of at a plateau, as we, as we mentioned before, sometimes we have to shock our bodies and uh, switch it up. Okay, so I'm running or cycling every day. But I'm not uh, moving forward with my goal of, of losing. I lost five pounds. I want to lose five more. <clears throat> I've got to shock my body. I have to change up my workout regime, right? Change is good. All right. So you started with five minutes and you worked up to 30. That's right, Kathleen. That's awesome. And only asking yourself, let's see. Oh, we, sorry about that. We had a little connection issue, guys. Um, but you worked back, you worked your way back up, right? You do the work. Whatever that means, I'm going to wake up this morning. I'm going to do something. If it's walk around my house five times, okay? If it is, if you are a person who has like back pain or hip mobility issues, maybe you just are starting with, or if you're um, just trying to get started, one of those little foot pedals. It's amazing what those little foot pedals can do for you. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. I wish you lived near me. We could go for a walk together. I would love to go for a walk with you. Um, yes. Um, so, Diane, Kathleen, whomever else joins in, we're going to just stick with the weight loss for a moment. So, we realize something happened. We're going to get back on the boat. We're going to get back on. Today is day one. We're going to move our bodies. It, comes, it, it begins with a choice. Let today be day one. Walk for five minutes. When you open up that refrigerator, see what you have. What options can you make? Okay, I'm going to give you guys um, something in my own life. Um, my daughter's dairy free. Like, um, we have to be dairy. Well, I don't have to be dairy free. My, my husband's not. But I am trying to intentionally be dairy free for her because um it's easier like she doesn't feel like she's missing out on something and it's healthier for me if i live dairy free with her and it's just easier okay so rather than um like yes we have this um organic vegan mac and cheese from whole foods because my local store didn't have it so i went out and got it anywho it requires a dairy-free butter. We didn't have any dairy-free butter. And she even wanted this macaroni and cheese. And we made a homemade um, dairy-free cheese a few, I think I recorded a video about it, maybe a month ago. And we froze it. However, when we unthawed it, it was kind of stringy. We had to dispose of it. So this packaging here, I um, went to the store, got the dairy-free butter. We're gonna make the vegan macaroni and cheese with the dairy-free butter. So I'm saying all that to say that, hey, you know, setbacks, we go to the market. We look at our refrigerator. What do we have? What options? My child's dairy-free, you know, so I can't use traditional cheese. If I do that, it's going to be a setback for her and for me. That's cheating my daughter. That's unfair to her because it's easier to make the dairy cheese, right? Like, it might taste good, but later on, she's going to be itching. Her skin's going to break out. And that's poor parenting and that's unfair, right? Even though it tastes good, so that's not right. Overcoming setbacks, we put the work in. Open the refrigerator. What are we gonna make for breakfast today? Okay, you have 
your protein shake, maybe it's pre-made, maybe it's a homemade, or if you have time, maybe you can have some, uh, an omelet, put some spinach, uh, tomatoes in there. If you don't have a lot of time, maybe the night before, do your meal prepping. Meal prep makes a huge difference, okay? It's all about living intentionally and knowing your why. Every time you get up, you know your why for whatever actions. Example, when you go to work every day, um, hopefully you go to work because you like your job. But at the base of work is income. It's an energy exchange. When you go into work, whether it's from home or into the building, after a week, two weeks, a month, whatever the pay cycle is, you're expecting either a paper check or a direct deposit into your account. If you get paid under the table, you get cash, you're expecting some payment for the labor that you put in, right? So the same goes with our nutrition. Oh, Kathleen mentioned egg cups. I've heard about those. Like the, and I have the little egg muffins you can make too. So yeah, that's good stuff. So think about it. When you're opening up that refrigerator to make a healthy choice or to have a, uh, a, 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 a treat day. Let's not call it a cheat day. We don't want to cheat. We're not cheating. It's a treat day or meal, right? So you decide, okay, open that refrigerator. I know what my goals are, all right? I'm a, every time I cook something healthy, I am paying myself, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm paying myself. Every time I go for that walk or I get on my bike, I, I go to yoga, take yoga with me, um, whatever your preferred exercise regime is, guess what? You are paying yourself. You are putting deposits into your wellness account. So just like you go to work and you get a, a, a paycheck or cash money into your bank account, every time you cook that healthy meal, every time you go for that walk, every time you get a full night's rest of sleep, you're paying yourself. Your quiet time, you're paying yourself. Your, um, your meditation practice, you're paying yourself. Your prayer time, you're paying yourself. Okay? Overcoming setbacks comes with mindset. Guess what? I lost five pounds. Now I'm at a plateau or life happened. I became, um, you know, I had a family loss situation, a loss of income, my job changed. Um, there's a variety of scenarios that can um, contribute to a reason that one does not continue on their wellness journey. But we can't stay in that mode. We have to make do, make the best of what we have, okay? You have, to cho you have a choice. You have to say, I am ready to get back on this train. If you have some uh, physiological medical conditions, talk to your provider about that. Maybe if you have some thyroid, adrenal, um, heart conditions, talk to your provider and say, what do you think that I can do that will help me be able to lose the weight? Okay, what diet, and I don't even, I don't want to call it diet, even though there are different diets. There's the DASH diet, um, you know, there's keto and paleo and all these things. There's plant-based, vegan, etc. I like to say living healthy, eating healthy, balanced nutrition, whatever that means for you. There's no judgment whether you're, if you eat meat, if you don't, you know, it's what works for you and for your family. So if there's some physiological things going on, make that visit with your healthcare provider, okay? Once you get those lab results back, from there, you all can decide on a plan of action. What is it that you need to do? Is there additional testing? Did all the labs come back normal? Do you need to see a dietitian, a nutritionist? Have a plan of action. What we, what we can't do is get stuck in the fact that I lost five pounds, I lost 20 pounds, I have 10 more to go, I have five more to go, what's the problem? We have to look at our situation and say, this is what I am doing, or this is what I, what I did in the past, now I'm at a standstill. Or I'm doing these things, but I'm not seeing the weight loss. Or hey, are you measuring, hey, measure your neck, your arm, your waist, your thighs. So weight adjusts, not just on the scale, but in how our clothes fit. So let's live in gratitude and say, the scale didn't move, but it's okay. I'm still working. Or 
Like I said before, shock your body. Let's change up our exercise regime. Okay, so I just want to touch on that for a bit uh, because this uh, live was specific um, because someone asked for it. And going back to uh, protecting your peace. Good morning. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. It's a new wave. Um, going back to uh, Kathleen. Um, protecting your peace. Being at peace all year long. That was your goal. That was your desire. How are you coming with that? Any um, concerns? Okay, you're sharing, overlooking the step of other option outside of the weight. Scale has been hovering at about the same spot, but even on my face and neck, they look thinner. So yes, friend, those are things we have to think about, right? The scale is not the end all be all of our health and wellness. Or if we are trying to lose a little bit of weight to be healthier inside and out, not just on our, our bodies, our physical inside as well. Um, yeah, face kind of thin and out. Uh oh, collar. Oh, are those my collarbones? My clavicles are coming in a little bit. Okay, I see. My deltoids. Okay, all right. So those are just little things. Pat yourself on the back. I, I wish as people we, um, or that society and the magazines and TV would not always talk about the scale, the scale. We have to love ourselves as we are. And just be our best. If you desire to lose weight, got to do the work, right? And if you are doing the work, there may be something else going on. So make those healthcare provider visits. If you um, practice both here Western medicine, Eastern medicine, more holistic practice, the combination of the two can get you where you need to be. Sleeping better, eating better, right? Doing the exercise. If there's a setback, we cannot remain just stuck on the fact that we're not moving forward. Whether it's, if it's peace, okay? You know, why, why do I feel this heaviness on my body all the time? Why, why am I filled with anxiety? Why is it that whenever I'm starting to walk out the door to this place of employment, or if I'm going to, it could be going to your in-law's house, that every time I'm going to this place, I start to feel overwhelmed. I get the shakes. I start to eat poorly. Or maybe I don't eat at all because of the stress and anxiety associated with that environment or the person that you're going to be around. That affects your peace. Okay, you've been having lack of sleep. So we have to say, what changes can we make? If being around a certain person affects your peace, is it possible for you not to have to be around that person anymore? Or as minimally as possible? Or can you have a, a hard conversation with him or her and let them know the feelings that arise when you're around them? Oftentimes people don't want to hear how they make you feel. But if we word it in a certain way, they can, sometimes they can receive it, and other times they can't. Options are uh, writing a letter, an email, doing a, uh, a voice, a uh, message, just speaking your heart about what they say or what, the, what it is that they're doing and how it affects you. So those things that we can, we can look into, okay? Good morning, good morning, how are you doing? Let us know what you're drinking today. Talking about setbacks, we'll be on for just a couple more minutes. But if um, if a person's affecting your peace, you gotta have that hard conversation. Sometimes we have to separate ourselves, not from a place of of of, of hate or um, anything in a negative environment. But you have to protect yourself. No one is gonna take care of you the way you take care of you. No one's gonna prioritize your needs the way that you can hopefully if you have a significant other in your life that he or she will um be able to prioritize yourself you know, prioritize you but number one is going to be them okay think about the maslow's hierarchy of needs 
our base level needs to survive are number one, okay? Co oh, you're having coffee from Papua New Guinea. Nice. Catherine's having cold brew. Oh, of course, I'm going to put it in here one more time. From Country Cam out of the Middle Georgia area. Relax and chill. Herbal tea. And as I always let you guys know, I buy these teas to support small businesses. And if you like tea, check out Country Cam. This is my first time drinking the herbal, herbal tea. It's really tasty. And I will let you guys know. I added some honey from, um, I don't know, I, I, I bought it at like Home Goods. It's Brazilian honey infused with elderberry, zinc, echinacea, ancient superfood wellness, and detox. So it says ingredients organic Brazilian honey, saffron, and uh, turmeric. So I don't know how much it costs. I guess I took the label off. Anywho, overcoming setbacks. Something happens. We're in that moment. Okay, it's been a week since I exercise. It's been a, it's been two weeks that this person has been making me be in my feelings. Okay, I'm ready to feel differently. I want to go back to feeling more at peace, more calm. Okay, I'm going to my job every day, and I literally this is not how I personally feel, but. You go to your job every day. You hate going to work every day. Something has to change. Okay? You, you've got to make a change. Either the place of employment is going to change or you're going to change. But you have a choice. Mindset. You're not stuck. You know you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. You don't have to be anywhere that you don't want to be. All that you have to do, and some people get away with this, is pay your taxes. Like... You know, that's what you have to do or you will get fined and go to jail. So, <laughs> you know, um, you don't have to go to a job that you don't want to go to. You don't have to do any exercise program that you don't want to do. You don't have to do any diet program. You don't have to be around people that you don't want to be around. Every day that we get up, we have a choice. Yes, you have a choice. How your day is going to be, okay? Attitude of gratitude. What you're going to do that day? Are you going to meal prep the day before? Are you going to wake up earlier so you can pack your lunch if you didn't do it the night before? Are you going to do your exercise program before you go to work on your lunch break after work? Okay. Are you going to have your quiet time, that meditative practice, that stillness that, that might set the groundwork to flow into that day of peace and gratitude? Okay. Um, what are you going to do? It's a choice. We have a situation. I did my exercise program. I lost the weight. Life happened. Family things. I had some medical issues that arose. That may be your situation. I'm feeling better. I've talked to my healthcare provider. I'm on a new track. Other option we talked about. I'm doing my physical activity every day. And you know what? I got I to gotta shock my body. Adjust my diet plan. I need to... Uh, Change my exercise regime, okay? Overcoming setbacks. We can't get stuck in our feelings that, hey, I lost 10 pounds and then I regained it, you know? We can't get stuck in the fact that, um, you know, this person at work or my family member makes me feel this kind of way. If a person makes you feel any kind of way, we have to address it, okay? Something has to change. And... At the base of all of this conversation we're having, overcoming setbacks means to make a choice when you're ready to do the work to move forward, okay? Okay, you're sharing. The final 21-day meditation series by Oprah and Deepak is available now, and the focus is on getting unstuck. Oh, thank you, Kendra. That's awesome. I think I saw that. Um, on social media, and I may have received an email about that, so I had to check it out. I love Deepak, and of course, I love Oprah. Yep. Oh, I think I've told you guys this before. I'm going to tell you all again. One day, I am going to meet Oprah. We're going to have tea together. I'm manifesting that. Yep. Why not, right? You can, you can have anything you desire. Anything you want, it is yours. 
it starts with mindset and from mindset you decide you take choice you take that, that choice you put actions behind that goal whatever you're working towards i'm definitely going to check out that 20 day meditation series thank you for sharing I'm going to wrap it up here. If anyone joins in late, catch the replay, ask questions, comment, send me a direct message. I'm happy to support and encourage you on your wellness journey. And as I like to say and end each time we gather day one over one day, we think about the future. Let's begin today. All right. Thanks for joining. I'll see you guys. Bye bye.